Hi there, I'm Penny, ComputerShare's virtual agent. ComputerShare Canada has an exciting new service called Pre-Authorized Debit. This service is offered to shareholders who participate in a dividend reinvestment plan, which also offers optional cash purchases. You can use this new service if you want ComputerShare to debit funds directly from your Canadian bank account in order to make an optional purchase of shares within the dividend reinvestment plan. In this video, I'll go over the benefits and features of this service and show you how easy it is to sign up. Why should you sign up for pre-authorized debits? There are actually quite a few reasons. You'll no longer need to search for your checkbook and then write a series of post-dated checks. The pre-authorized debit service saves you the cost and trouble of having to mail those post-dated checks. Setting up pre-authorized debit instructions means you'll never miss an investment cutoff date. The pre-authorized debit service provides you with the convenience of choosing between a one-time investment or recurring investments. Note that the frequencies you're able to choose from depend on how often the plan allows you to purchase shares. And finally, you can sign up or modify your instructions at any time via our secure self-service portal, Investor Center. As you can see, ComputerShare's pre-authorized debit service is convenient, secure, and timely. No more missed opportunities. Now that you know why you should sign up for pre-authorized debits, let's have a look at how easy it is for you to do. In order to participate in this service, you must already be enrolled in a dividend reinvestment plan that offers optional cash purchases. And your account must be coded compliant with Canadian Anti-Money Laundering, or AML, requirements. We will likely have done this coding for you if you've made an optional cash payment to ComputerShare in the past. You must also have a valid Canadian bank account. If you need more information on enrolling or on the compliance requirements, please visit our website. I'll give you the address to go to at the end of this video. When you're ready to sign up, you can log on to your Investor Center account and use our secure self-service portal to do so. On the next screen, I'll demonstrate the steps you'll need to complete in order to sign up online. If you're not a member of Investor Center, you can sign up right away. It's easy, convenient, and it's free. You can also download the pre-authorized debit form from Investor Center without having to log on and just complete and mail the form back to ComputerShare. If you already participate in optional cash purchases and are AML compliant, you'll receive the pre-authorized debit form with your next dividend reinvestment plan statement. Let's demonstrate how quickly and easily you can sign up for pre-authorized debits on Investor Center. Once you log on to your account with your username and password, the portfolio screen displays. From this screen, click the Expand button next to the holding you want to set up pre-authorized debits for. Click the Select Action button and from the list, select Buy More Shares. On the next screen, you can see that there are four quick steps to setting up your pre-authorized debit. Completing the purchase options, entering bank details, validating the transaction, and finally viewing a confirmation screen. To complete the purchase options, you must select between a one-time investment and a recurring investment. In our example, I'll go ahead and set up a recurring investment of $100. You'll notice that this plan offers different options for the frequency of my investments. I will choose to have the funds debited on the 20th day of every month by clicking this radio button. Next, you must agree to the terms and conditions for optional cash purchases. You can click on the words terms and conditions to read them and if you agree, click the agree button and click next. On the next screen, you must enter your bank details. Make sure you enter the details for a Canadian bank account. 
If you need help determining which digits to enter in the fields on this screen, you can refer to the image of the check sample at the bottom of the screen. When you are finished entering your bank details, click the Next button. On the next screen, you must validate the information that appears. When you are happy that the information is accurate, click the Submit button. If any of the information must be corrected, click the Previous button to go back to the previous screens. And you are done! The last screen is a confirmation of the transaction. You can go ahead and print this page for your records. Signing up with the pre-authorized debit form is also very easy. In Section A of the form, indicate your choice of debit frequency, enter the amount of the debit, and provide us with your banking information. You can use the form to modify or cancel your instructions by placing a check mark in the appropriate box at the top of the form. Before you send us the form, don't forget to sign and date it. We suggest you also provide us with a phone number we can use to reach you during the day. We'll only contact you if we need clarification on your instructions. You can use Section B of the form if you don't wish to sign up for pre-authorized debits and would prefer to send a check for your optional cash purchase. You do have the option of completing both sections if you wish to sign up for pre-authorized debits and send a check. Once you've signed up, you can modify your pre-authorized debit details through Investor Center following the same process we just demonstrated. Alternatively, you can send us your modified instructions using the pre-authorized debit form. If you wish to cancel your pre-authorized debit completely, you can speak to one of our customer service representatives. The phone number you must call to reach us is printed on your account statement. Again, you also have the option of sending us your cancellation instructions using the pre-authorized debit form. Thank you very much for visiting the ComputerShare channel on YouTube today. If you have questions on any of the topics we discussed in this video, or if you'd like to know more about how to create a login for your Investor Center account, you can ask me on Investor Center at www.investorcenter.com dot com.